What's up with the bros and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the final part of uh, day one. Uh, this is right after lunch. And if you can't tell, we actually had a bit of an issue with the GoPros. For some reason, my GoPro decided not to record the audio. Uh, I have the video. And for some reason, it is just a unique issue that happened this day. Uh, the other days, we still had audio, to my knowledge. Um, so that's interesting. Andrew also had an issue with audio towards the last half of our afternoon ride but apart from that uh, everything was pretty good and it, his issue seemed to clear out whereas mine didn't until day two right now i'm currently on service road 11. this is the service road that takes you from the parking lot all the way to trail four trail six and a couple of other trails that intersect about midway through i made a last minute decision to turn on to trail nine which actually turned out to be a really cool trail. Apparently most of the blue trails are two-way, which kind of make things hairy whenever you're traveling in a big group, but that didn't become a problem until day three. It actually connects up to service road four, which is the service road that takes you all the way to the big bridge and takes us to the second part of five. From there, we cross service road four into the intersection where trail 10 and trail number five intersect weirdly. opportunities I told you about earlier uh, we actually got an opportunity to see a deer jump the trail or at least I did uh, Andrew's perspective was too dusty Another unique opportunity that came from this weekend is that since everyone on this trip were YouTubers, it gives you an opportunity to see other people's perspectives and see stuff that you didn't see before. Like the snake that no one saw. Well, I say no one, but Ashton and Jacob saw it.
After we crossed the riverbed, I decided to stop at the trailhead of 23 to be able to get a head count to make sure that everyone was accounted for. That was the first time we stopped since we started taking that section of trails. After I got a head count, I decided to take everyone down trail 23, a trail that we took last time with Jacob and Jesse. It was actually the trail that Jesse decided to Viking throw a down tree back in our collaboration not too long ago. Nobody saw that. I think you flipping yeah, over was fairly it. impressive. It was working. It, I, I don't know what I hit. It happened it's like you rolled up the bank of it and just picked you. Yeah. It's all good. I'm I'm impressed. I did that. I've never, I've never rolled. At first, and then when you hit the ground, I like almost ran you over. Yeah. <laughs> I've never rolled this thing. That was the first time. We came here and we took pictures last time. Yeah. That was right. After Andrew's rollover, we decided to take the chance to go try some of the new trails that Carolina Ventral had just carved. And since we were already sitting on service road 21, it seemed like the prime opportunity to go take trail 44 a new trail. I was tasked with the opportunity of leading through this new trail and since it's a new trail I normally take it kind of slow but I actually got stuck so the uh, leadership got transferred over after that. I also made this joke on camera but obviously since it didn't get recorded I'm gonna make it here but when Carolina Adventure Road carved these trails these trails were new now they look like Facebook Marketplace new. What's that? I lost liquid. Hold on, man. What happened? Pop a fuse, maybe, or? I killed it. I killed it in this rut. Then I went to start it and it went to start it. It's like dead. I flip over. Ashton 
get stuck, which I didn't get on camera. Steve's YFC just died. We just unplugged it and plugged it back in, and it fired right up. So, you know, whatever. Pull it that way. No, pull it, pull it that way. Oh my god.
basically the end of day one we pretty much finished trail 41 and then hit trail 25 that connected right there at the service road and then from there we decided to do a couple candid shots of some of the trails that pete really enjoyed like trail number five trail six and one of my personal favorites trail number 22 after that we decided to cover most of if not all of six and considering the fact that we cover a large majority of that in the next up and coming videos i'm gonna go ahead and save that for later also speaking of pete's video if you guys have not checked out those candid shots that he had recorded and also the video itself it is currently live on his channel and also if you have no idea who pete hager is then tell me which rock you've been living under because that's crazy I also wanted to take a moment and say thank you to everyone who's been supporting and subscribing and liking all of our content because without you guys we wouldn't have been able to invest in some more content. Once we found out that our cameras were causing problems we got an opportunity to be able to purchase some more camera equipment and we're very excited to put that to use in some up and coming videos in the near future. So thank you to all of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing our content on the vast platforms that you guys support us on. You guys are all awesome, and we wouldn't be in these unique opportunities or in a financially good spot to invest in the channel without all of you. And that is truly the best thing that we've had. That's truly the best opportunity that we've gotten to do, uh, not only as content creators, but also as fellow subscribers of other channels and to watch our channel grow along with other people's channels. So thank you all so much for giving us this opportunity to be able to host this platform. Like as always, if you did enjoy the video and you've made it this far, then uh, comment pheasant. And be ready for day two coming, I believe next Monday and Friday. It really just depends on how long it takes me to edit. And, um, yeah, thank you all so much. I truly cannot say that enough. Now we the coach, and I'm on 10 with my woadies. Shout out my homies, we gon' ball for them trophies. Like they can't hold me, thinking God, I've been chosen. Go through the motions, all them times, I was hopeless. Now we the coach. Look, I've been trying to tell y'all since like 1 3. Got my soul up in the trunk, and my God got the key. Spirit trying to.